Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're going to do the victory lap, the last mission of the no short run. It is time to bring the fight to the aliens. We got a loaded team. Two uh, rangers with Roby and Halo. We got Sonar to be healing ourselves. We got Edgar Alien Poe and uh, Dark Taranaxus to do the magic. We got uh, Hogbite, of course, as the leader of the pack, and finally the commander, uh, pretty much a replica, um, apparently, of uh, myself, that is uh, trying to help them. Good to go. Hello begins to slowly move in. Make sure that we're. That we're not pulling uh, too many packs from the get-go. All right. Well, that seems about right. Hogbite moves up here. As you direct. Dona moves Orders into the back. Dr. Noxus. And Edgar Alien Poe. Moving to position. And finally the commander's avatar. Everybody got speed, uh, so we should have quite a fast team. The idea of the first half of this run is to hopefully do it flawless without using a single consumable item all of that should be in the second uh, room so that we can absolutely demolish the second room but before we do that let's first and foremost try to successfully finish the first room you can already uh, hear the stomping of sector pods so it might not be that simple Obi moves up, so. potentially pulls the first pack. Negative. All right, Hawkeye pulls the first pack. The stress of battle is enough to get to anyone. Well, when well, well. Home, we'll have to give our soldiers plenty of time to rest. Good. Uh, we do. Uh, we will give them plenty of time to rest. Trust me. Plenty. Halo starts moving in. Wow, 14 hit points. That is a lot of damage. Just want to get uh, mm, full. Full focus for once. I think we're going to start with Reaper. Killing the Archon. Very nice. That prevents Counter Strike because now we got Implaceable and Untouchable. Which means even if he's retaliating, there's. Uh, that would not impact us. On the move. All right, that uh, does not work. Nah, we don't. I don't uh, want to risk anything. So Avatar moves up. Temporary mind control for that mutant here. Very 
Very nice. And at the same time, let's kill the other mutant. Can't really see this bloke. Now your suffering really begins. Which means Hogbite's gotta deal with it. That's affirmative. Good, so far so good. First pack relatively simple. And yeah, this mutant here, certainly not going to be our companion for long, two to three rounds, and then he's going to betray us. Let's pull the next pack. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Okay, cool. Yeah. Okay, let's get some focus. Fantastic. Slowly but surely, we're moving in. Four sectoids. Uh, not really, shall I say, scary, oh, per se. The rift consumes you. We're just going to toy a bit with them. Oh wow, mind ruptured. On your order. Hmm. Let's just check some, uh, uh, something. Sleep tight. <laughs> okay, this is either going to be hilarious or it's going to fail really, really bad. But since we do have so many mechanisms uh, to even help ourselves if we were to fail, Oh, yeah, well... Now that becomes a bit more interesting. Good, we're definitely on our way back here. Gotcha. Commander's Avatar. Can easily park him in the open because guess what? He regenerates and they will not be able to kill us in just a single go.
Fantastic. Cool. What else do we have available? Oh, quite theoretically, could just charge in. We would have insanity available. Certainly, you don't want to use domination. We can just stasis this guy and deal with it next turn, which is probably what we're going to do, to be honest. So, instead of charging in, let's charge back. Very nice. That's some more damage. Not a lot, but some. We're going to stand in the open here. Far enough away to not really be dangerous. I want to be very careful with uh, clustering up. Not going to do that. Instead, let's just stasis and call it a day. And to make Halo less attractive as a target, we're going to give him a protocol. Sometimes, if you have a solid defense and you just do not offer them any opening. Okay, and there's nothing you need to fear. Covering. Realistically, they will just shoot the mutant. And they were they are going to help us. If one of them just charges in and attacks him in melee, that's even better because he can retaliate, so both of them will take damage. There's a nice little critical hit. Fantastic. Good. Commander's Avatar. Moves all the way up to here. And this should be plenty of damage for all three of them. Okay, wonderful. We could even actually continue to just take this guy out. Being careful if we're ch charging in. So let's move over to here for now. You can always charge and kill one of those guys. I just want to stay away from both of these enemies because uh, the uh, gatekeeper might explode. Correction. It is actually going to explode, it's not a might. Yet again, we do have quite a bit of options here. My lance pierces all. Might as well just take the hardcore version.
good. Uh, we got untouchable, but we do not have emplaceable. I'm not sure what it is with Halo. That should literally not be a problem. But grabbing some more focus. And then this here should actually be a kill. A double kill to be precise. Well, not quite a double kill, but almost. Good, Roby has him placeable, and that's the important part. Charging in, Implaceable, untouchable. I definitely got that one. I guess that'll be Charging okay. out. And let's maybe take over one of uh, those suits. Boy, Maxi uh, Maximilian Richter has a really bad uh, hacking score. Zukuger had 160, he only has 120. Shame on him. Good. We're going to do a little trick. Solid copy. Moving simply fully away. And letting them just stand there. Unable to take anybody. Well, so far quite a few uh, spell uh, spells in effect. Haven't used a consumable yet. And our sustained damage seems to be good enough as well. Because so far, like, nothing is standing. My strike surge is Eric completely destroys uh, them. I think for now, we're good. We need a few rounds to just regain the uh, cooldowns. That's it. But boy, boy, the entire area here looks absolutely Push crushed. I'm on it. Oh, boy, it moves up. Dark Tower Noxus moves up. And Halo moves up. Even the commander can move up. Good. Headed there now. One or two rounds, and most of the cooldowns should be back. First three engagements, actually, uh, the one uh, ones with the mutant, then the ones with the uh, sectoids, and then the big pack um, gatekeeper plus double Andromedon. And yeah, besides cooldowns, nothing used, and it wasn't even close so far. Three more turns. I just love to have the major cooldowns available. 
in case that we're really running into something that is a bit more challenging. I think we have killed half of the map so far. If it uh, was my guess, there's probably another kind of pack of mechs. There is most likely a sectopod, and we haven't seen vipers and archons yet, so that's what I would guess. Um, yeah, plus uh, plus cortices. All right, one, two. Roby moves over there. Copy that. Get Galleon Poe. On it. Sonar. Confirmed. Then we got Dark Tarnoxus. No need to ask twice. And the Commander Avatar. I think this is just a graphical bug. Although it's pretty threatening if you if you look at it the entire time. Good. Let's, Let's move in. Ooh, Noxus triggers a nasty group of berserks, uh, berserkers and faceless ones. <laughs> Love it. Good. Time for a big fat void rift. Let's see if any of the rider effects are going to prop. Nice. Panic. Ruptured. Alright. Yeah, not sure what that back and forth was about, but okay. Good, next up, the ultimate rift. Kind of the bigger version of the mind rift, uh, of the void rift. Good, Ed Gallion Poe charges in as well. Step into the void. Good, yet another void rift, rift over rift over rift. Ruptured and panic. Fantastic. Good. We're charging in. Oh. 
Let's just kill this guy. We don't even need Reaper for it. I got it, right? They are nowhere close to get towards us. Okay, I'll go. So might as well just fall back. This is another uh, tactic. If they can't really reach you, there is no point in in throwing dozens of mimic beacons. Copy that. We're simply moving in. We're going to wait uh, for them to come a bit closer. good <laughs> he's in a bad mood okay So whilst this team here might not deal the most uh, damage compared to actual firing weapons, they're pretty consistent in how they're dealing uh, their damage. It's dead. It has to be dead. And their AOE capabilities are so. also pretty good. I like the team setup. Given the limitation uh, of the run, it's probably the best team we could end up with. Moving to position. Now let's just move here. Shouldn't trigger anything. Yep, we're fine. Moving on target location. All right, Dark Power Noxus. I hope it's worth it. Moves there, and the commander moves there. Good. It is time to hopefully go through the last one or two packs. And here is stomping. Mana moves over. Um, Roby moves you, over. Edgar and Pony moves order. over. Position confirmed. <sighs> I'm going. Got it. Good. We're going to take the high ground and go via the rooftop. There shouldn't be that much standing in our way, to be honest. Moving over. Nope, nothing. Good. Sonar moves up. Affirmative. Moving out. Haylock moves up. Double time. And the commander's avatar moves up and finally will be. What's over there? Maybe, maybe we don't even need the high ground because we don't get an aim bonus from it. Might as well just engage on the low ground here.
We're staying out of line of sight for now. Is it clear? Solid copy. Getting the team in. I guess that'll be okay. I'm on it. At Galleon Poe and finally Sonar. Roger that. Good. We're making sure that we're not being seen and next round we're probably going to charge in. What we can use is a scanning protocol, mainly because I won't use it in the last room anyways. It's just a burden. Interesting, okay. Well, this here will split the codices pretty much in half. Unfortunately, won't fully kill them, but still. Two bonus attacks. I'll take that any any day of the week. But we gotta be careful, there's another pack back here. Fantastic. Only the armor. That guy is stunned. Did we really... Uh, yeah, we really triggered yet another pack. And that one is pretty nasty. Good. Avatar moves in. Time for big fat dimensional rift. Very likely that we're going to um, just stasis the sector port. In terms of Reaper, I think now is a pretty de uh, decent time for it. Start cleaning up uh, all of the codices. X ray neutralized. Yeah, I can't really hit them. I don't want to use the X. Uh, we just want to use the normal abilities for now. No cooldowns, nothing. X -ray down. I am concerned if we're running up here that this pack will be triggered. I'd rather not do that. We can always grapple up here and kill the last guy. So that's fine.
Moving up. That here could be a solid hit for both of them. The alternative is that we're just stasising this guy. Ooh, that's a good one. Yeah, let's let's just see if we can shut it down. Takeover would be, of course, even better, but given the low hacking skill, shutdown is good enough. Okay, fantastic. Then we could do uh, 2x um, 2x stasis. In the meantime, what I'm asking myself is, could we hit this guy and kill him? Hmm. He's stunned, so he's really not a danger for anyone at this point. Don't want to use the Icarus jump, of course, jumping here and then just going wild would be a fantastic idea. I think that that um, is necessary though. Lifting off. Gotcha. Good. We pretty much killed. Done all of uh, the codices with the exception of this guy here and he's protected by that other pack which i don't want to trigger now what we can do is we can put a stasis here Another stasis. Well, we can't. Uh, that is unfortunate. No one is safe. In which case, this year. becomes pretty much a killing uh, spree. Reaper into Andromedon kill. Can we get this guy? Potentially, I mean, one thing that we could uh, can do with that is we can charge in. Still seeing a problem uh, uh, with the guys there, so Might do something along the lines of uh, this. Uh, that would be a hit. Uh, Blitzom would kill. 
we do have untouchable the two mutants will try to attack us in melee yeah why not i mean pretty bold maneuver but i like it very aggressive We got parry. Pretty much everything ready. Sonic bomb. Doesn't really matter for us. We need to move anyways. There's the first bladestorm kill. And now the mutants will charge into us. Well, I definitely got that one. That's the second one. <laughs> I got it, right? Beautiful. I love it when a plan works. It's dead. It has to be dead. Advent troops spotted. And we're finally fighting all of them at the same time. Second, how much do you want to? F uh, how many of them do you f want to fight at the same time? Vikings answer: Yes. We want the map, the entire map. All right, there's the parry. Just got one blades, uh, one Overwatch. That's not a problem. The commander can take it. We are going to regenerate. That's not an issue. Time to take a new mimic beacon. There we go. Fantastic. Hmm. What would be a good place? I think over here looks pretty convincing because I can see a nice little null lens hitting both of these guys. That should be a kill and a pretty heavy injury. There we go. Another stasis uh, ready, which we're probably going to use for the sector pot. To be entirely honest, ah, gone. let's move out of there. Good. Let's get some untouchable. Fantastic. Good. The Andromedon shell is far enough away from everyone to not be dangerous. Let's 
kill that heavy mech here. We are untouchable and implaceable. Okay, Moving to here. Just for some extra damage. That other Andromedon shell really doesn't uh, doesn't do much. Time to kill the Codex. And afterwards move up. Stasis on the sector pod. Going to deal with you in a bit. No need to ask twice. And we're just moving upstairs. Like I said, far enough away from the Andromedon shell. We got untouchable here, so I'm not concerned about that. Unless he will use his uh, rockets all over the map. Yeah, we got a complete immunity to uh, the rockets, but not to falling damage. <sighs> Alright, that's the only thing that didn't work out according to plan. The rest actually worked quite well. Could have not clustered up. The AI totally preferred just to deal some damage and be annoying. Alright, we didn't completely flawlessly do it. Donoxus takes some healing. Moving over here. Let's do the soul fire that can also leech some hit points for him. He can actually heal himself. Slowly so, but he can. There we go. Two hit points stolen. Three for the price of one. Do we have bases? No, we do not. Okay, that's fine. Time to mop the floor with the sector pod.
but let's kill this guy and the sector pod will most likely just deal with um, our Templar. Pro problem is always the lightning field. Which cannot be parried. But that's also not always happening. I could go for a Mimic Beacon play. But I think we should. Nah. Will he use Lightning Field? Hard to tell. Mimic Beacon is more valuable than the Gremlin heal, so I'll just wait. I think feel is, I think, non-blockable. Yeah, I figured as much. Going for the avatar, well, not on my watch, buddy. Not on my watch. Good. Unfortunately, the last engagement costed us a bit of healing. Nothing major. We still got group healing and all of the other. Uh, all of the other goodies. Good. That dealt a lot of damage. Decent. Let's move Roby away because we really don't want him to take more damage. on the other hand is immune to the explosion yeah and you can argue that the very last engagement uh, I could have uh, probably uh, used a mimic beacon once and prevented the entirety of the damage but it is what it is uh, one can argue whether two healing charges are um, more or less valuable than a mimic, uh, mimic beacon the mimic beacon has some advantages by simply controlling the enemies and moving them in the right direction so i'm quite happy with how that uh, turned out almost completely flawless and um, i mean the last engagement was pretty beefy uh, about 200 250 hit points uh, at the same time so getting hit once not necessarily a bad outcome we're going to end the video here and uh, the very last room is uh, gonna be the uh, portion of our really really final lap. I hope that you enjoyed what you've seen and I would ask you to leave your comment uh, down below predicting how this run will end. How difficult will it uh, be to actually do the very last run or the very last room rather. Okay. Take care, guys. See you in two days, and bye-bye.